Hey there, it's John over at Global. We're going to talk about the computer upgrades that are coming down the pike and how we're going to do that together. And it really does take place in three major steps. We like to say three easy steps because, well, that's what nerds like us always say. The first step is going to be mostly on the individual user. We're going to move all your content to OneDrive. You already have your OneDrive account. We're going to get everything off your desktop for good, and we're going to organize it in your documents folder, copy it all to OneDrive, and we're going to stop using files on your hard drive at all. And then we're going to contact me for the conversion, and I'll make the change, or Marco will. And then I'm going to put in a help desk ticket for the SmartBoard update, and Marco will come in and put in your SmartBoard software. Let's go through this whole thing step by step. I blew through that really fast. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going to stop storing things in your desktop. Good news is you're moving from a high-risk behavior to a low-risk behavior. Keeping things on your desktop is actually a high-risk place to store your files. They're unstable, they're easily accessed, they're easily deleted, um, and it's not the most stable directory on your computer, so I really discourage you from doing that in any event on any computer in your life. Just try to not put things on your desktop. It's a really not a great way to organize your files. And so we're going to end up with a file that our desktop looks just like this, and this is an old Windows 7 looking desktop. And then the next thing we're going to do is look at your documents folder and organize it the way you want to have it. And again, we're not going to organize it by calling it desktop folder. We're going to organize it the way you want to organize it in different periods if you're a secondary teacher or in different groupings or in different subject areas or however it is you would organize it. But just take It'll take a little while. I won't kid you. That'll be some, some uh, work to do. But organizing is always good and it always improves your efficiency and it always does make your work life easier. So it's a good practice regardless. Now, once that's done, you're going to upload everything to OneDrive, and that really is as simple as that. You're going to copy everything from your Documents folder to your OneDrive. Now, where is your OneDrive? Well, when you open up Office, and you open it rather your email, you're going to see you've got options for Outlook. You've got options for OneDrive. You've also got this little uh, waffle up here, and it says OneDrive, and you can always navigate that. As a matter of fact, I can give you an Office online trick. Learn to love the waffle. Well, that's not the waffle I meant. I meant this waffle right here. This waffle is available on every page of it, and it's called the waffle colloquially, um, and it's how you get around uh, Office 365 online. Now you're going to upload all your folders from your documents folder, and you're going to put them onto your hard drive by clicking Upload. You'll notice when you click that Upload, you get this really cool menu that comes down that allows you to upload entire folders at a time. So if you took everything from your computer and you organized it in five, six folders, you can upload just five, six folders, boom, boom, boom. It may take a while for the volume that you have, but you won't have to do a ton of clicking if you organize your documents folder. Next, call or, make, call or email John, call or email me, and I'll come down and I will do a conversion to Windows 10 on your machine. It takes about 45 minutes. I can do it while you're in the room. I can do it while you're in the room with kids, but you will not have computer access during that time. My duty period is block two on B days, so it's B days between about 10.50, 10.55, and uh, 12.20, so let me know when I can work it in during that slot. And then I will put in, or we will together put in a help desk ticket and put a, get your smart board software updated. So the help desk ticket goes into Marco, and Marco comes in riding on his horse and takes care of your smart board software. When that is done, we hope, we hope, we hope that your conversion is quick. So we're going to take a quick look at this so you see what this looks like one more time. Here is your OneDrive, your Outlook. Here's the Waffle. I can take a look at that and get to OneDrive that way. Anyway, you cut it. I go to OneDrive. I open it up. And I can use files or folders to do the upload there. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.